Hi, I'm Dave Balkin. I'm the owner of Balkin Sewer and Water Main Service. We're New York City Sewer and Water Main Contractors. So I'm going to explain to you how to easily determine what your line is made out of, and that will also help you determine how old it is. So for instance, copper lines, like this is an old copper line, it's discolored. If you scrape it off, you could just use a coin. The orange color, the copper color will come through, but the other distinctive thing about copper is the way it's joined to brass fittings is that it's flared, and this is a flare fitting. So if you have a flare fitting, right away you know you have a copper line. Copper in New York City has been used uh, exclusively for about 50 or 60 years, so how you would know the age after you know the material is the DEP has records. And these records would allow you to know how old your line is. If your line is getting close to 50 years old, its useful life is pretty much over. And I would suggest you do not do a repair, you would do a replacement. That's copper. The next material that I can explain to you is lead, lead water service lines, which probably haven't been installed in about 70 years or so. Now, besides Take, well, actually making your decision easy is that repairing a lead line in New York City, it's not legal. You're not allowed to do it. Now, how you would know that a line is lead, it has kind of a, a dull silver color to it. It's also very malleable. Like, you could take a coin, you can actually scrape lead off of this line, and then it becomes very shiny. But the last real uh, uh, unique thing about lead is when it was joined, when this lead tubing was joined to the brass, they had to actually wipe molten lead. It's called the wiped joint. And you're going to see this wiped joint where it connects to the lead. And that is uh, unique to lead. There is no other material that would have that. That tells you you have a lead line. And again, you, you cannot repair a lead line. And if you're in a jurisdiction that permits it, I definitely wouldn't suggest it. It has all sorts of implications. Now, the last material that I'd like to show you is uh, galvanized pipe. Uh, when galvanized pipe is brand new, it's kind of a silver color, but when it interacts with moisture, this is what it looks like on the outside, and this is what it looks like on the inside. The other interesting thing about galvanized, of, uh, of all the materials up here, uh, it's the only uh, waterline material that's actually magnetic. So if you're not sure if you have galvanized or not, just get a magnet. And it will stick. And just to show what I'm speaking about, if you have a lead line, if you have a copper line, because some people think copper is magnetic, it, it's not happening. So. Hopefully that uh, helps you out there in your decision-making process, and I thank you for listening.